I was reading the literature on queen pheromones of fire ants, and some researchers suggested that the ant queens would deposit pheromones onto the eggs when she's laying them. In fire ants, the poison sac is one of the main sources for queen pheromones, and it's directly connected to the sting. And since the eggs are coming out from the vulva, which is very close to the sting, people suggest that the queen would use the sting to coat the eggs with pheromones. They documented the egg laying process of a fire ant queen in a paper, but I realized that I've never seen it in detail myself, and there is no good video for it. Ant Canada made a video about fire ant queens laying eggs, but uh, there was too much storytelling and not much of a direct uh, documentation. So I used a microscope to take some videos myself. A healthy fire ant queen in a mature monogyne colony can lay about three to four eggs every minute, and even if you place her out of the nest, she would still keep laying eggs like there's no tomorrow. Now here is the gaster of a monogyne queen. You can see that this sting sticking out of her butt. When uh, she's about to lay an egg, she kind of contract the, the, the gaster and try to squeeze the egg out. It does seem like she extends the sting and then draws it back, which then the sting would be touching the egg. But when you really look at it closely, um, especially when she's laying the third egg uh, in the video here, the sting never really touched the egg. So it's not like the queen would actively try to use the sting to touch the eggs. It's just more like the eggs are likely to touch the sting when it's coming out. I can't tell if uh, a fire ant queen would consciously coat pheromones onto the eggs, but it's quite likely that the eggs are acting as media for the queen pheromones.